Hi, I'm Jim Murphy with River City Software Development, and we provide quality solutions to companies like yours who use Iron Speed Designer. Today we're going to be talking about encrypting and decrypting data fields by means of formulas. The field that we're going to be filtering today is the password field. And if you notice, it's currently displaying asterisks because Iron Speed Designer is obfuscating the underlying value since it knows this is a password field. Likewise, on other pages, the password field is also shown as asterisks. If we look in the underlying database itself, we can see that in the users table, the password field is in clear text and has the value of just password. So the first step we're going to do is go into Iron Speed Designer and change the password validation from password to string so that the asterisks will not be displayed on the page during this demo. So let's do that. Inside of our application here in Designer, we can go to the databases tab and find the users table and the password field. We can see that the validation type is currently password. We'll simply change that to string. Another thing we'll do is go to the edit page, password field. This is the text box where we change the password and change the text mode from password, causing Iron Speed Designer to render our asterisks in the text box, and change that to single line so that our underlying value appears while we test. Let's run this and we can see what it looks like. Now we can actually see what the password is. Likewise, when we type a password, we can see it here as well. Okay, great. Now let's work on the formula to encrypt and decrypt the password. We can do that by going into the databases tab, selecting the password field. This time we'll work with the formulas, starting with the initializing when reading a record. We'll right click and select functions, security, and decrypt. And the value we want to decrypt is going to come from the database record and is the password field. That will decrypt the password when the record is pulled out of the database. For inserting and updating, we want to encrypt the value as it is saved into the database. And do the same for updating a record. Now let's run our application and see the results. Notice now we get an error when the password is trying to be decrypted. That's because the password is not currently encrypted in the database. So decryption yields an invalid value. This error will disappear as soon as we modify the password, which will make it a valid encrypted value in the database. And the last one. So now we see the various passwords as used in the system. The password is properly decrypted when viewing an individual record as well. This works so well. Is the password really getting encrypted in the database? We can look in Management Studio to see what the data looks like while at rest. And you can see here that all the passwords are successfully encrypted, even though the application displays them in a decrypted fashion. It's that easy. I hope you've enjoyed the session. You can visit us on the web at www.rcsdev.com if you'd like help with your project. 